Warner Brothers announces a new Superman project, and it could not be any worse if you invented an announcement to match it. This is an all-time bad announcement for a lot of different reasons, and I honestly don't even know where to start, but we're probably just going to have to jump in with the obvious thing, and that's the headline right here. ta Coates to write new Superman movie for Warner Brothers. And now, if you don't know anything about Coates, Coates is a far, far left-wing lunatic, a racist. He doesn't like white people, and he doesn't like you if you don't agree with every single thing that he wants to push and all of his nonsense. And this dude is writing a Superman story, a new Superman story produced by J.J. Abrams. And guess what? According to sources, it's being set up as a black Superman story. Well, of course it is because you've got Coates writing it. There is so much wrong with this. Now, as far as J.J. Abrams go, a lot of times I'll tell everyone, hey, I was ahead of the curve. I told you this would happen. I told you that would happen. And I have been right a lot. And I've pointed it out a lot. With J.J. Abrams, I was not ahead of the curve. I absolutely was not. In fact, I was behind the curve a lot. Now, retroactively, yes, I still like a lot of his stuff. I like Mission Impossible 3. I like Super 8. I like a lot of his TV shows. I like Star Trek 09 because I'm not really a Star Trek fan. And I fell for the fool's gold that is The Force Awakens. I can't change that. I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to pretend that I was not a J.J. Abrams fan. But what we've seen from him over the last few years, especially with the disaster known as The Rise of Skywalker, which I believe in a lot of ways was worse than The Last Jedi, J.J. Abrams is trash. Um, he he really is a, a political opportunist within the Hollywood world. He knows how to get his name involved in things that he doesn't necessarily uh, have a lot of involvement in. Um, but he will definitely push whatever the studio wants him to push because at the end of the day, he's only in it for his brand. He doesn't care about actual storytelling and things like that. And that whole um, ending white supremacy at the workplace memo from Bad Robot... That was just unbelievable cringe. And now we're seeing him being involved with this Superman project. And I have zero faith in it at all. I have zero faith in J.J. Abrams moving forward because regardless of if I've enjoyed his stuff in the past or not, he has proven to be someone that will bend the knee and fall in line to whatever the overall Hollywood scope is. It's why I respect someone like a Gina Carano who's not willing to bend the knee to that, who's willing to stand up against the nonsense. J.J., He's just willing to do whatever it takes to elevate his brand. Um, now, as far as this movie goes, there's more problems than just what we're seeing on the surface. Obviously, they're going to go for the race swap of Superman. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about identity, po identity politics, and I think the majority of you feel the same way. Um, even if this was a movie with Blade, okay, and they were going to try to do a race swap and put a white person in place of Blade, I would have the same issue because it's not about... Is it a white character being swapped to a black character or vice versa? It's about the fact that you have already made a decision based on identity politics with the story. You've already made that decision before you even started telling the story. That is a huge problem from the start, from the beginning. And yes, I mean, obviously Superman is an icon for so many different reasons. And we've seen so many iterations of Superman over the years. Now we are less than two, what is it, three weeks away from the Snyder Cut. And this announcement comes out, completely attempting to derail any of the momentum that the Snyder Cut ha has. Because why? Well, the Snyder Cut is a fan-driven movement. And we all know Hollywood does not like fans. And they are really trying to derail any momentum that has because they want to see it fail. Now, I say that as someone that, again, is not a Zack Snyder DCEU fan. I am a Zack Snyder fan. I'm a big fan of Watchmen. I think it's a masterpiece. I love his Dawn of the Dead. I'm looking forward to Army of the Dead. I think that looks awesome. And while I'm not a fan of his DCEU, I am a full supporter of the Snyder Cut movement. And the fact is, Hollywood, big tech, mainstream media, sports, whatever, it doesn't matter. They hate fans. And the Snyder Cut is a fan movement. And this is derailing any of that momentum. Which just, again, adds to how many problems this announcement has. Not to mention, not to mention, you have Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill wants to stay in this role. He's literally perfect. Henry Cavill is a perfect cast for Superman. He is Superman. He's a great guy. You've heard nothing bad about him. He carries himself well. 
He looks the part. He's a good actor. Like, Henry Cavill is the perfect cast for Superman. And you're moving away from him for identity politics and to give the reins to a left-wing activist who only wants to push his racist ideology. This is unbelievable. This announcement is such a disaster for so many reasons. You're taking away momentum from the Snyder Cut, which is bullshit. Um, you literally have the perfect person to play the role who's actively playing the role and who has expressed wanting to play the role more. And you're moving away from him for a person who hates white people. And then you have JJ who has a history of destroying franchises. And you're just ignoring the obvious as to what's right in front of you. It's unbelievable. But this is where we are. If we were in the 90s or the 80s, Henry Cavill would be the biggest star in the world. But you know what his biggest problem is? He represents white toxic masculinity. That's the biggest problem Henry Cavill has. It's his identity. And we know that identity politics is the name of the game in Hollywood. And I know people have said, oh, Jeremy, I can't believe you think that they're eventually going to have Superman be a woman or Batman be a woman. I can't believe you would think that. That sounds crazy. I agree. It is crazy. And it's happening. All you need to do is turn on the television, watch YouTube, and watch the discussions going on at the government level right now. And don't tell me that you can't see what's about to happen. If it's happening in our government level, these crazy discussions, think about the fact that, yeah, it's probably happening on a movie level. Because of course it is. Eventually, Superman won't even be allowed to be called Superman. Or Batman won't even be allowed to be called Batman. These things are happening. Either you're paying attention to it or you're not. But we have tangible evidence to support why we feel this way. And all you need to do is open your eyes. But this is a disaster on every level. Um, obviously, uh, I am done with J.J. Abrams after a lot of his behavior. And it's clear what type of person he is and what his focus is. He is completely uh, useless, untrustworthy, and this project is a complete and total disaster, and I have zero faith in it, and it will be a trash fire. It will be universally rejected by fans, and when that happens, they're going to call all the fans racist, sexist, because we've seen this song and dance over and over again. This is what they do. They create bad shit. They hijack well, I are well written, iconic, and well established characters. They hijack them for identity politics. The fans criticize those decisions, and then they call the fans racist and sexist because, of course, that protects them from having to be responsible for doing a bad job. And we're going to see that again with this project if it moves in the direction that they claim that it is. Uh, other than that, hope you guys are having a, a decent day outside of the shitty news and the shitty world we live in right now. Um, Check out geeksandgamers.com, our website. If you have not, it is free to sign up. Make yourself an account. Jump over into the forums and have whatever discussion you want within that forum. For $10 a month, you can become a premium member. That helps support the site. helps us grow the site. We're currently developing an app right now, and it gets you exclusive access to some of our content. Also, check out the Geeks and Gamers video game. Yes, there is a Geeks and Gamers video game starring yours truly, and it is awesome. It's called Fact Blast. I will leave a link to that. T-Rev spent two years developing this game. It is fun. It is difficult. And it's kind of got that old school Mega Man vibe to it a little bit. With some of the difficulty when you get in the later levels. It was a very well done game. We are currently in the early stages of the next video game. And I was not involved with the process of the first one. I am involved with the second one. And we're going to do as much as we can to put as many geeks and gamers resources behind it. I'm very excited for this. Um, so guys, please go check that out. Thank you for supporting us. Share the video. Like the video. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a great day. And we will talk to you later.